No, that I studied sense. literature, you know, I studied uh, creative writing, like, yes, I definitely fund your humanities, folks. And oh, the humanity, we got Bugs' cloud. See you loud. I'm gonna get off commentary. No, we love your comps. Come back. Come back. We miss him. That's all right. Well, you know what? We better not miss anything of this set here. As Fong goes against uh, Blue Flare. We do have... Yeah. <laughs> I could just John, barely John see John out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> I told him to stop, he just does it more. It's so distracting. Knock it off! The world's fastest orchestra. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this could be a fast stop here, as Bugs is looking to make this happen. I mean, fun, I apologize. Oh boy, here we go. Alright, fun. Getting that up smash, blue flare, swinging just a little bit too much out of disadvantage. We did start to see that a little bit in his match against um, Space earlier tonight on stream. Oh, oh no! Air dodge. You know what? Fawn, not usually Fawn is the type of like player to, you know, kind of like react to like their own SDs. Nothing tonight. I don't know what's yeah. going on. Well, I mean, at that point, Fawn was at a pretty high percent already, and it was a... It was, a, it was a pretty rough situation, so I can't imagine they're too upset with that death. Fair, fair. <coughs> blue Flare, though. Oh, the turn up helping Fawn here. Yeah, but Blue, blue flare, flare on the defensive. Looking to do some upsetting of his own as he gets the percent a little bit more back into his favor. Does get the float cancel neutral air. You want to know what upsets me? What's up? That tag, Flush Water. There, there's something very... Uh, Lovecraftian about that. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure what it means, and I kind of don't want to know. <laughs> I, you know what? Best, uh, best so not to. All of uh, Fawn's tags are specifically like references to either musical artists or yeah. to albums, and this is Fleshwater's a musical artist. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I gotta check that out. That sounds hot. Um, I don't know what kind of music they play it because their be band industrial. camp literally says Freshwater, Georgetown, Massachusetts. <laughs> Mersey oh. Virtual. I Mersey know. Virtual. Okay, this Massachusetts is definitely heavy metal. Has to be. You can't live for anything else in Massachusetts. It is a three-piece post-hardcore shoegaze. I'll try and... I knew what it! Are these <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, please. Wait, horseshoe? Uh, no. Shoe stare. Oh, shoe, shoe stare. stare? Like staring at your shoes. So I, mean, it's, I do it's that all day. music for when you're just looking down? I guess. Oh, like, I get like with the yeah. South Park when the goth stands and they're just looking at the ground. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. I'm, assu I'm assuming that's what it is. <laughs> I'm learning a lot about culture today. Oh, we're going to be so cultured. We're so cultured. With what we don't have in education, we have in culture. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Buffalo right. wings. My favorite culture. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo? Don't you mean wild wings? Oh, you mean wing stuff? Yes. Okay, here we go. Oh, Ooh, what a mash from Fawn, not getting caught by I, anything out of that grab. I mean, Blue Fair just really has some good patience there, just holding the shield. Sometimes that's all you Ooh. really should do against Cloud. What a grab from Blue Flare. Fawn was dancing around his shield, but Blue Flare living to oh, tell the tale. Oh my gosh. He knew that no. wanted the anti air, but Fawn is going to be finding that last stop. What a cool moment. I like that Blue Flare just kind of like. Sussing out the monitors is like mm. side eye of the century. So bombastic. I mean, oh, good. I, go I love how Fawn just looks like they were the one that got hit by the F tilt. <laughs> <laughs> Forever upset. <laughs> Forever upset. Yes. Oh yeah, I would have been more upset with that to be honest. Yeah, it's definitely an upsetting situation when you like just want to tech and Smash Ultimate is like, oh, you want you meant an air dodge, right? <laughs> Thanks, Buffer System. Thank you. You know what? I can't be mad at Street Fighter 6 anymore, because I've played Ultimate. <laughs> but we're going to Smashville. We're getting the spacey. Okay, it's a spacey kind of night today. The, the Fawn Fox coming through. And Let's go, I, Mango. And I definitely agree with that in uh, this particular it's especially for this uh, stage, Blue Flare obviously wanting more of a like scrappy sort of stage where he can start taking control of that uh, center stage and getting some good uh, conversions out of it. But yeah. Fox, no stranger to scrapping. Oh as my we've god! As we all it takes. 
imagination into up smash. The truest yeah. of combos. And this is an excellent like uh, counterfeit character from Mon because like Smash Smashville, okay, small. You can just really keep in Blue Flare's face the entire time. It's in moments like these that I wish we chose character first instead of stage first. Yeah, in a the Europeans have it right once again. In a in a different timeline. Oh boy. All right. That right now is no red strum. Continuing to look like a doomed timeline timeline for Blue Flare as Fawn gets these up air conversions. Don't be a doomer. They just have to get on the ground again. If uh, Fawn will let them. Yeah, I don't know if Fawn's going to be uh, allowing that. Oh! Ooh, all right. Blue Flare with some anti-airs of their own. Whoa, oh. what are these combos? Peach things coming in, getting a really good 50% Fawn, almost getting the same conversion. Oh, no. Not great Short side. And, and a taunt from Fawn as well. All right, taunt to get bodied. Blue Flare, make it happen. Unfortunate Fawn at DI in avoiding that forward air. Oh, what a weird way to just get back on stage, but okay. Blue Flare camp in the top platform. Getting off. Uh, that is. Oh, that went the weird angle. That was goofy. Blue Flare had the right idea. <gasps> no way. Using that. Yes! Okay, no let's try. What we're gonna see here Phantom Footstool. Lovely back air as Blue Flare finally takes on to their last lock. We're going to see if Blue Flare can get another one of those 50-piece combos on Fawn to bring things uh, back into oof. his favor. But some great spacing with the Parasol, just barely avoiding that down smash. Avoiding that up smash as well. All right, excellent. Good conversion. No offstage situation there, but great stall. How do you get Oh, no, the it's going to be a big punish. No, oh, but made a pack. Thanks, Parasol. I am surprised that works. Fawn looked like they were ready for anything there at the ledge. Anything but that. It's anything but non-float down air. Uh -oh. oh, okay. All right, off stage once again. Fawn just getting some laser damage. Ooh, oh, not getting the caught in the back air. Ooh, oh, okay. this could Good be neutral. Blue Flare's moment. All right, no spike here. Wow, both trying to switch for a back guard. Okay. Yeesh. Oh. No! Can not on shield. Not on shield. Cannot be touching anything on Fox's shield when Mission he's got complete. up smash on lock. Yeah. That, that's all they have to do. At 80%, yes, Peach could have killed, but it was a lot safer just to be like, they're going to get impatience. Yeah. It's at this point where you're like, yeah, a lot of people can win games by being like, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait you out. I can do that. This game, it's an eight minute timer. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Uh-oh. Yeah, we just had some excellent conversions here. And Fawn just staying in Blue Flare's face the entire time. But we see, will see Blue Flare in the top 24 very soon. Yep. Back air from Blue Flare right there. But yeah, that was that was definitely a hot set. The the Fawn Fox I feel like we haven't seen very much, and it's, it's definitely a treat. Yeah.